Okay, it's about half ten in the morning and the heat is on and rising. The horses are in the shade and hardly any flies. If there were flies bothering them, their tails would be swishing like crazy. They're standing there nose to tail in case there's a fly that they can swish onto each other. The sheep are all in the shade ears hardly twitching. I don't know if you can see that. Wait a minute. There. They're moving just because I've come up here and the dogs have approached to get some water. So they were all lying down, hardly an ear twitching, hardly any flies, and they're all in deep shade. And a lot of farmers online have been talking about there you can see a fluff of the horse's tail twitching. A lot of farmers have been protesting and saying all you need is uh, uh, protesting against the people who talk about having, um, uh, protest the people who say all you need is deep shade and livestock uh, will be fine as far as the flies are concerned. And a lot of farmers say, ah, sure, as soon as the animals go into the deep shade, they're tortured with the flies. The problem is they're not farming for dung beetles. The horses are very slightly swishing a tail there. Now if they were pestered with flies, those tails would be going non-stop. The sheep barely an ear twitch. If you farm for dung beetles, the little hitchhikers on the dung beetles eat the fly eggs. And that's just one thing dung beetles do. Farmers, a lot of them are just throwing things like insecticide and porons and wormers on their livestock, thinking they're doing the right thing because that's what they've been taught to do. If you farm for dung beetles, you don't have to worm as much and the dung beetles take care of the fly population. I've moved in closer. These lambs moved because the dogs came up here with me. But these sheep are in the deep shade. Hardly any ear twitchings. Not being pestered by flies. You can see there's a little bit of ear twitching, but that's it. That yo there is lying flat to the ground, which is what some she which sheep do naturally and cows to avoid flies, but they'd be twitching their ears like crazy. Hardly any ear twitching. These lambs are hardly twitching their ears either. And you can see the horses tails are nearly stationary all the time. Here you go. Now this is what horses do. They go nose to tail and they use their each other's tails to whisk the flies from their faces. But these horses are hardly doing that at all. Hardly any fly twitching tails. That is what farming with dung beetles does. It alleviates the pestilence of flies, horse flies, any of the flies. So the dung beetles are an incredible preventative to a major issue. See, no twitchings, very little fly, um, ear twitchings. They're not bothered at all. Okay, the horses are now moving around because I'm moving the sheep and etc. But that's it. When you see loads of fly of tail swishing, that means there's loads of flies. Their tails are hardly twitching at all. This is thanks in part to dung beetles. No insecticide, no wormers, and dung beetles.